Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and the topic is reproduction in plants. Uh, at this point we are going to discuss uh, seed and fruits dispersal. So the first thing that uh, we'll talk about is that uh, seeds and fruits are dispersed together. They are dispersed together and it is important that when the seeds and fruits are dispersed, uh, we minimize overcrowding. If all the seeds or all the fruits within a plant would fall on one place, and then just germinate there. There will be a lot of overcrowding and there will be a lot of competition, even for nutrients, for light, and so on and so forth. It is therefore important that these seeds be dispersed to different uh, areas. Number two, uh, dispersal also allows the plants to colonize some new habitats so that these plants can colonize new areas where they were not growing previously. So the colonization of the new habitats is enabled by uh, the ability to disperse the seeds and the fruits. Uh, we'll also look at the various agents of dispersal. We have wind as an agent, water, we have self-dispersal, and so on and so forth. So first of all, we can say that uh, dispersal is important in that, we're looking at the importance, A prevents overcrowding prevents overcrowding of plants overcrowding of plants which would lead to competition competition for nutrients light ETC. Uh, also, we are saying that uh, through dispersal, it allows the plants to colonize new habitats, new areas where those plants are not actually uh, growing. Uh, <clears throat> we have uh, water, wind, and self-dispersal. We even have uh, animal. I can also add that. Water, wind, animal and self-dispersal. Those are the main agents of dispersal. They are the main agents of seed dispersal. So we'll uh, study each one of them. And uh, we'll start with the wind dispersal. And uh, some of the adaptations of those fruits that are dispersed by the wind, one, they are light. And they are light so that they can be carried by the air currents. Uh, number two, they have 
either a feather like uh, or a wing like uh, structure uh, that uh, feather like structure is known as the the purpose and it's the one that enables the uh, the seed once it has fallen it doesn't fall directly on the ground but it falls a certain distance away from uh, from the parent uh, uh, plant <coughs> The fruits have the following characteristics. They are light to enable them float in air. During transportation, they have feather like structure. Also, to enable them float Others have a wing-like structure. they fall away from the parent plant. They don't just fall uh, directly, but they fall uh, a certain distance away from the parent plant. So we can have an example of one. So we have the wing-like structure. This is a jacaranda. Has a wing like structure. We have one that has a parachute. structure so all those are wind dispersed e.g. the songkas then next we go to water dispersal we have those uh, fruits that are dispersed by water and these ones are light to float on water they are fibrous or have air spaces to trap air for buoyancy. Buoyancy is the ability to float. <clears throat> uh, we also find that the water dispersed 
uh, fruits are water resistant in that uh, they do not absorb water. into the internal parts so basically those are uh, uh, the water dispersed three we have the animal These ones are succulent or juicy to attract animals to feed on them. They have hair-like structure. They are hair-like or they have hooks. To attach on animal's body. Animal's fur or human clothes. E.g. the blackjack. Be dense. <coughs> they are brightly colored. Also to attract animals and then also their seeds are resistant to digestive enzymes. of animals that is they are swallowed by the animals and then they are defecated or they are removed as feces without being digested so the seeds are resistant to digestive enzymes of the animals and are defecated without digestion And then lastly, number four, we have the self-dispersal. Also known as explosive mechanism. So these are the ones that have lines of weakness, as we saw earlier, and they split along those lines of weakness, releasing the seeds. They have lines of weakness, and those lines of weakness are the ones we referred to as such as, along which they split to release the seeds. And this is happens in legumes. So basically those are the four agents of dispersal of fruits and seeds. We have the wind, water, animal, and self-dispersal, also known as explosive uh, mechanism. <coughs> so we'll have an assignment on that. So the first question, state the adaptations of <coughs> A, 
animal dispersed fruits b water dispersal or water dispersed fruits and uh, number two what is explosive mechanism so we'll stop there until next time <laughs>